Hi guys, it's Sam. So welcome back uh, to another flow. So today I'm going to be guiding you through um, one of the ways that I like to practice most myself um, and I love to teach. So it's a bit more of a fluid flow practice. So we'll be working um, into some twists and into the hamstrings as well. Uh, but the main thing I want you to be aware of today is that we're going to be moving into quite a fluid space so really focusing on the spaces um, in between the poses so the transitions and to have a little bit of fun uh, with it and really kind of try and connect to your own breath so we'll be doing the flow once a little bit slower to explain it all and then we'll be repeating the flow so on the second time just really allow yourself to know where you're going maybe you put some music on um, yeah and, and get into the flow so the only thing you'll need today will be a strap and we won't need that till later on in the practice so when you're ready come in to start into a balasana child's pose so taking the knees out either side of the mat and just allow your sit bones to melt down extending the arms long in front of you and melting the forehead down towards the mat take a deep inhale through the nose and exhale, sigh out through the mouth. <sighs> Allow your hips to be heavy here. Allow yourself to settle in. Turning your gaze inwards towards yourself. Start to notice the breath. Notice the fluid rhythm of the breath moving through your body effortlessly. Maybe noticing the quality of the breath. So is it quite short? Is it long? Is it shallow? Is it deep? Not passing any kind of judgment here, but just noticing dropping it. Noticing all parts of the body that are connected to the mat. Noticing the feet, the shins, the palms, the forearms, the forehead. Allow them to soften into the earth. Starting to deepen the breath here, so breathing in and out through the nose. And then start to walk your fingertips all the way over towards the right hand side. And deepening through the breath here, finding that nice stretch through the left side body. You can cross the left hand over the right palm if you want to deepen the stretch here. Really send that breath to the left hip, the left side of the body. Keeping grounded here as we stretch. And then slowly as you rotate it all the way back to centre. And then slowly start to walk your hands all the way to the left hand side. And the same thing here, staying here, maybe the right palm crosses over left. And just sinking down, breathing into that side body. And then gently walking the hands all the way back out in front of you. Start to lift the sit bones here. Taking your feet parallel, we're going to come into extended puppy dog pose. So maybe tucking the toes if you want to support. And then walking those hands all the way out long. Allowing the chest to melt down here, the gaze is forward. If it feels too much, you can take this variation. Just still working into opening through the shoulders. 
And as you do with here, see if we can draw your navel to your spine. So you find that core engagement as we open through the chest. Allowing the breath to just move into these areas of tension to soften. Nice, and then walk your fingertips all the way back, taking your hands underneath your shoulders, hips over your knees. We're going to take a couple rounds of cat cow here. So as you inhale, the tailbone reaches high, the chest reaches through, gaze goes to the sky. As you exhale, tuck under the tailbone, push away through your shoulder blades, gaze to your belly. Now take a couple more rounds of this movement with your breath. So really connecting this breath to movement here. Maybe closing your eyes. Really invite yourself into this connection, into your practice. Okay, nothing has to feel too static today. Really just moving into more of how the pose feels than what the pose looks like. And then staying here or if you want to, taking it more to a rolling cat-cow. So you can tuck the toes if you want to and maybe inhaling on your way back. As you exhale, push down to the hands, roll through the spine and then come back through to your cow back, send the sit bones back. Inhale forward and take a couple more of these waves or your cat cow, wherever you are. Listen into your rhythm of your own breath, feeling this fluidity radiate through your body. And then coming all the way back to your tabletop position. From here, finding those foundation. And start to extend the left leg out long here, pushing down through the top of the right foot. Flex through that left leg. And as you inhale, start to take that left leg all the way around in front of you. Exhale, take it back. Maybe you can look at the foot. Take two more. Inhale it forward. Exhale it back. One more. Inhale forward. Keep engaging that core. Exhale back. And inhale forward, take that left leg in line with the left hip here. So finding a nice stretch through the left hip, start to walk your fingertips forward. So thinking of that extended puppy pose here. So that might be a really juicy stretch for you here. You can bend the knee if you need to. You can come back to extended puppy, wherever you're feeling it today. If you want to add a little twist from here, rounding down through the right hand, we send the left hand, turning the palm up to face the sky, placing the shoulder down on the mat, the left cheek melts down. So again, this might be enough. Or maybe you want to take that right hand all the way around, see if we can catch onto the left thigh and open through that chest. Finding this nice juicy stretch. <laughs> A lot going on here. <laughs> Breathing into it. Maybe tapping into your Ujjayi breath. Equal inhale and exhale through the nose. And coming out of it, place that right hand out in front of you, allowing you to lift your body all the way back up. Then walk in the right hand all the way over to the right so it's stacking underneath your right shoulder as you inhale you lift this left arm all the way up and over so coming into like a modified side plank so wrap that right tricep lift up and out of the chest then this might be enough for you maybe you can start to lift that left foot again engaging through the core and if you want to add on for a little bit more core, start to bend that left knee, draw the right elbow towards the left knee, the left elbow towards the left knee, crunch it in. Exhale, extend, so like a little back bend. Two more. Move with that breath. 
keep everything engaged here and hold in here, feel that nice back bend. Stay here, if you feel open enough, maybe you wanna take the left hand to grab the left ankle. Push the foot away into the hand and open through the chest. Again, not essential, feeling where you are in your practice today. Then release it all the way down, placing the left hand back, the right hand comes back, we meet in our tabletop position. Working through two cat cows just to mobilize through the spine, maybe shaking out the hips from side to side. <laughs> Noticing what you need. So we inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Nice, coming all the way back to your tabletop position and taking it on the other side. So I'll just turn around here. <laughs> A little bit more space. <laughs> and then extending that right leg behind you, flexing through the foot, engaging up through the core. Taking the right foot up towards the right hand. Keep it engaged, squeeze those glutes, then take it back. Maybe gaze at the foot behind you. Take two more. Really connecting with your breath. Strong through the center line. Take it all the way out. Place that right foot down in line with the right hip and extend it. Those arms in front of you, melting heart pose. Again, any modifications that you need to, to take here, we'll add in the twist. So take the right hand, the right palm faces up to the sky. We lower the right shoulder down, the right cheek melts down. Maybe walking the fingertips forward, finding that deeper stretch. Or maybe taking that left hand all the way round, taking the bind if you want, rolling that left shoulder blade down. Breathing here, then not attaching yourself to what the pose looks like. Just feeling all these nice, yummy sensations running through the body. Keeping with your ujjayi breath. And gently releasing the bind if you tuck it. Push down through the left hand to take you all the way back up. Then take that left hand in line with the left hip. We sweep the right arm all the way up and overhead, coming into this modified side plank. Here might be enough. Or wrapping that tricep around and in to allow yourself to lift up through that right leg. This is all going on. Nice, draw into center. So you feel like everything's drawing in here if you take this option. Otherwise, add in on. Bend in that right knee, the right forearm connects, squeeze it in like a crunch. Exhale, we open the body, keep everything engaged, two more. Exhale, open, open through the heart, mini back bend. And then open here, holding here or taking the hand behind, pushing foot into the hand, hand into the foot, open through the chest. Nice. And then releasing off, coming all the way back down to your tabletop position, amazing. Shaking out the hips, taking a few cat cows here, just taking some organic movement that feels right for you. Maybe even taking a little child's pose, if that feels like what your body needs. And knowing that's always available throughout the practice. And when you're ready, coming back to your tabletop, start to take your hands about another palm's distance in front. Spread wide through the hands, wrap the triceps around and in, so eyes and elbows face forward. Tuck under the toes, lift the knees, extend the sit bones back. Ardha Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. So finding your movement in your down dog today. So again, nothing needs to be static today. Really feeling what you want to take here. So maybe pedaling out the feet, maybe rolling into the hips, shaking the head, yes and no. Little circles with the head. Whatever feels nice to just release into it. Bring yourself to the present moment. Nice, and then coming to stillness. Bending the knees if you need to. 
take your gaze in front of you towards your hands, rise up to the fingertips and then slower than you would like to, start to tiptoe the feet to the top of the mat, maybe keeping a bend in the knees, but like you're moving through honey here, engaging through the shoulders to wherever feels right for you, nice, and take your feet hips distance apart, generous bend in the knees, we melt down here, really release it off, and taking some nice sways, some movement, releasing that neck, that back, maybe taking hold of opposite elbow, sway from side to side into your ragdoll pose, maybe just releasing out for a big sigh, <sighs> settling in, then planting the hands down toward the mat, bend into the knees as much as you need to. Planting that left hand down, straightening through the right leg a little bit. Inhale, take the right arm up behind you. Keep the hips square, the gaze follows. Plant it back down, we bend into the right leg. The left arm reaches up long. Feeling that nice stretch through the hamstring. And then go ahead and take one more either side. Moving with your breath, the intensity that you want today. Nice. Holding all the way back down, bending into the knee, rolling the body all the way up to standing. Feel every little vertebra rolling up. And as you reach the top, head coming up last of all, draw your shoulders towards your ears. Take an inhale and exhale, roll them down the back. Take another of those, inhale. Exhale, roll them down the back, release. And taking your hands to heart centre, taking your feet hips distance apart or big toes to touch, heels slightly out here, whichever feels right for you. Maybe closing down the eyes here, maybe setting an intention for your practice today. So this can be an intention you've set before, maybe this is something completely different, maybe really not being too concerned about what things look like today and really going with that feeling, connecting to how you feel physically, emotionally. Take a deep inhale through the nose, exhale, say it out through the mouth. Nice. And opening the eyes, placing the hands down beside you. We'll take a variation of sun salutations too and then a modified vinyasa um, and this will be the same modified vinyasa that we'll use throughout our flow so just kind of familiarizing ourselves with it here so starting in artagasana palms face forward we inhale arms reach up to the sky urdha hastasana exhale hinging forward bending from the hips suttanasana inhale halfway lift hands to shins gaze forward or fingertips to the mat and bend into the knees, plant the right foot down, step the left foot back, lower the left knee down to the mat, coming into your low lunge and janiyasana. Inhale, the arms reach high, keeping the back toe tucked to protect the knee a bit more, so you can be on the top of the foot. And then just breathing into this space here, so finding that stability by drawing, feel like you're drawing both legs together here, to find your centre line and then sinking into the hips. Take an inhale, the arms reach high. Bring the palms to touch, exhale, hands to heart centre. Inhale, prepare. As you exhale, start to take the hands to twist all the way round to the right hand side, but not hooking over the elbow just yet. So really waking up those obliques. Take an inhale. Exhale, then go ahead and hook the left elbow over the right knee. Or maybe you can take the gaze over your right elbow, keeping that lower body connected. And exhale, frame that front foot, tuck under the back toe, and we'll step it all the way back to downward facing dog. 
So coming through this modified vinyasa that we'll be using in the practice, so from our downward facing dog, we lower down towards our knees, but it's better coming back into that tabletop position. Keep the toes tucked here. Take an inhale. As you exhale, send the sit bones back, the chest melts down, so like a child's pose. As you inhale, push down through the hands, round through the spine to shift yourself all the way forward. So think cat back, untuck the toes, then allow the hips to come back down to the mat first, bending into the elbows, coming into a variation of cobra. Push back down through the hands, tuck under the feet, lift back up, downward facing dog. So that is the vinyasa that we'll be using today. Don't worry, we'll have plenty of time to practice it. <laughs> and from your downward facing dog, start to walk your hands back a little bit here. So finding a slightly shorter down dog. So this might be enough just to feel you working into your hamstrings a bit more. If you want to, taking that right hand to the outside of the left thigh, calf or ankle, inhale, prepare. Then exhale, start to twist underneath that left armpit. So the gaze can go up, or it can stay down if that is too intense for the neck. Breathing into this space, maybe noticing a little bit of heat here. And take it back to your down dog, take it on the other side. Left hand, choose your placement, inhale, prepare. And exhale, open through the body, lift that chest, so you're trying to peel that chest underneath your right armpit. Nice. One more breath. And plant the left hand back down, walking the hands back into your downward facing dog. Then step that left foot in between the hands, lower the left foot down, lowering the back knee. Come back into your low lunge and janayasana. Then just settling in here, maybe taking a little pulse here, just whatever you need to. To really feel into your body. Take an inhale, the arms reach high, plant the palms together, exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, start to twist over towards the left, using those obliques. Nice. <laughs> inhale. And then exhale, go ahead and hook that right elbow over the left thigh really grounded through the lower body, lifting up and out of the chest. And then framing that front foot, step the right foot to meet the left. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale to rise all the way up, hands reach overhead. And exhale, hands to heart centre here. Again, closing down the eyes here. Just so noticing that heart beating in your body. Noticing that fluidity of the breath. And trying to keep that body calm as we engage in this organic movement today. And go ahead and take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale, really sigh it out. <sighs> nice, two more. Inhale. Exhale, a little bit louder, let it go. One more, inhale, all that energy for the practice today. And exhale, really let it go, the loudest sigh yet. Amazing. <laughs> and then gently blinking, open the eyes. We inhale, the arms reach high. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the hands, and we'll just step back to our downward facing dog. Nice, so finding your foundations in your down dog. And starting the sequence now. So this is a sequence that I'm gonna talk you through a little bit slower, and then we'll start to take it a little bit more fluidly on the second round. So anything that does not feel right for you, please know that you don't need to take it. Um, again, really focusing on just noticing how your body feels today. 
um, everyone, the beauty of this flow is that everyone's practice is going to be a little bit different, people are going to put their own little spin on things, so it's exactly what we want. So you're coming back, downward facing dog. As you inhale, start to take that right leg up to the sky, three-legged dog. Bend in the right foot towards right glute, open out, split hip dog opener. Start to take the gaze forward, bend in that left knee. Take the foot all the way back, three-legged dog. And then step that right foot with control on the outside of the right hand. Nice, coming into your lizard lunge. So from here, taking a little bit of movement to get into the hips. So anything that you need today, personalise your practice. Maybe you want to drop the knee. Maybe you want to get juicy into the forearms. Wherever you want. Settling in. And wherever you are, coming all the way back to your hands, finding yourself back in your lizard lunge, back leg lifted. Ground down through the left hand. As you inhale, take the right arm forward. And exhale, open the right palm all the way behind you. Maybe the gaze follows. Nice. So a little transition, we're moving into Skandasana from here. So from the back, start to send this right hand all the way underneath. The right hand leads the way. We pivot the right foot 45 degrees and then we open out into our skandhasana. Amazing. So you can be up on the ball of the foot or you can be here. Either will work for the flow. Again, checking in with what feels right for you. If you're in this position, ground down to lift up. Then from here, we're going to power through into our goddess squat. So grounding down to lift yourself up here, finding your foundations in your goddess squat. So heels up, in, toes facing out. Maybe just taking a little wave here, a little wriggle. Settling in. Seeing what feels right for you. And then come into your goddess squat. Allow your body to melt forward and we're going to take some side stretches from here. So the left elbow comes onto the left thigh and we inhale the right arm up to the sky. Nice. And the right arm sweeps down, right arm, right forearm, right thigh, left reaches up. Nice. Take two more on each side here. Again, just moving into this. The legs might start to feel a little bit juicy too. Again, this can look different for everybody. Then from this movement here, this goddess squat, start to lift the body up, so power down through the feet to lift up. Pivot the toes forward now. We take the right hand towards the outside of the left calf or the left ankle. And we take the left hand all the way towards the lower back, or maybe you can hold on to the inside of the right hip, take that twist. So again, this can be high up if you need, a little bend in the knees, whatever feels right. Breathe in here, feeling this nice openness. Maybe each exhale, you can allow your body to open up, twisting a little bit deeper. Nice, then from here, funky little transition, that's what it's all about today. So you take the left hand down into the centre of your feet. So we're taking it a little bit further forward, creating a bit of space for hips. So releasing that right hand, start to pivot the right foot out. So we're creating a bit of a base here to allow us to lean and extend our left leg free. So ground down through the left hand. As you do, draw that left knee in towards the chest. Extend, maybe you can allow the left foot to lower towards the right glute. Maybe holding on to the left foot, just an option. Breathe in here, I won't keep it here too long, this is quite strong. Then using this same power, maybe releasing the hands here. Push down through the right foot, step the left foot all the way back. I'm gonna come into a little bend here. The right hand places down forward. 
so if it all seems a bit much go with it the repetition will get it into your brain into your body <laughs> so we're in this variation of like single leg stretch uh, but it's a little bit more space for the hips so we're bending into that back leg maybe flexing through that right foot here and really working into that right hamstring and then we're going to take a little bit of flowing movement from here so keeping the hands down maybe take them onto a block if you need and then bend into that right leg the, the, the weight shifts forward towards the right straightening through that left leg if you can then we exhale bend back into the left leg the right foot flexes so we move between the two and you can be quite animalistic here nice so getting that nice opening through the hips through the hamstrings and then when you're in your bend hold it here start to pivot that back foot 45 degrees so it's in line with the short edge of the mat walk the right hand forward push down to lift all the way up warrior two nice a pose that we're familiar with <laughs> Amazing, checking in with your foundations. Breathe in here, come back to that breath. Feel it opening through the hip. Arms reach long, maybe turning palms up and down. Finding that engagement through the arms. We inhale, flip that front hand. Allow the left hand to come down the back, reverse our warrior. Inhale, reach tall. Nice stretch through that side body. And then exhale, we come back through warrior two. This time plant the right hand, right forearm. We lift up and out through the left side, extended side angle pose. Really opening that chest if you can, so roll the left shoulder back, open through the chest, nice. And breathe here, finding that stability. And then from here, Taking the hands, framing the front foot, turn the back toes so that you're on the ball of the back foot. Start to walk the hands all the way round to frame the back foot. The right hand plants, the left arm sweeps up to the sky, easy twist. Breathe here. Squeeze those thighs together, lift up and out through the chest. And then go ahead, plant the hands, frame that front foot, step it with control all the way back, downward facing dog. Take a deep inhale here. Exhale, sigh out through the mouth. <sighs> nice. Maybe wriggling through the hips. And then we'll take our modified vinyasa from here. So same as we did before. Lower down towards the knees. Start to send the sit bones towards the heels. Child's pose variation. Push down through the hands, roll through that spine on top of the toes. Lower the hips, bend the elbows, variation of cobra. And then push back through hands, tuck under the toes, lift up, downward facing dog, nice. Breathe in here, amazing guys. Then lower the knees, lower the sit bones. And take a nice little child pose here. So using this time to come back to the breath, maybe processing what just happened <laughs> and knowing that sometimes when we're given something that's a little bit more unfamiliar, we can be quite shut off to it. Just really try and embrace it today. Really focus on what feels right for you. Maybe softening that breath, coming back to your steady ujjayi breath. Maybe taking a little sip of water if you need. Just checking in with your body. Bringing it back down to that equal state. And from here, start to take a deep inhale through the nose. We exhale, sigh out through the mouth. <sighs> we tuck under the toes, lift the knees, 
purse that bends back downward facing dog. So we take the same flow on the other side. So we work our way back round to the front of the mat. Again, just using my voice here. So it's gonna be the exact same flow now. It's just being on the other side and then we'll repeat it. So we'll get into this, don't you me? <laughs> so come back down facing dog. We inhale, lift the left leg up to the sky. Bend the left foot to the left glute and we open out, split hip dog opener. Left foot over towards the right. Take it back to three legged dog. Shift the body weight forward. Squeeze the right knee in towards the chest and then step it on the outside of the left, at the left foot into the chest and then take it on the outside of the left hand. Coming into your lizard lunge left thigh. So again, take in any of these little movements that you need to take, maybe lowering the knee if you need, and maybe coming onto forearm. So this is completely uniquely yours today. You can build, you can add however you like. Wherever you are, making your way back up to your hands, tucking under the back toe, lift that right knee and we inhale, sweep the left arm forward. Uh, so open the left hand comes back, maybe the gaze follows. Open through the chest and we're going to move into that skandhasana. So the left hand sweeps all the way through, it leads the way, we pivot onto that left foot and we open out into our right foot, flex it out. Any variation of Skandasana, taking any little adjustments that you need to, whatever feels right. Maybe pushing down through that left foot to open through the hips. Maybe taking a little twist. And then powering through this left foot. So you can use your hands here if you need to, to guide yourself up or if you want to, powering with the feet to lift all the way up. The heels come in, toes come out, goddess squat again. Taking these little moments here to just sink into it. Maybe you want to sweep down though. Maybe you want to come up. Let's go with it. <laughs> nice. Then from here, relax the body down so you've got Grounding through the feet, relaxing through the upper body. The right hand comes to right forearm, we lift up and out. Take the side twist. Nice. And then we'll take one more either side. Moving with your breath. And then sweep it all the way back to centre. Start to take the toes forward here. That left hand comes all the way around holding on to the left calf, left thigh, left ankle. The right hand comes towards the back of the body if that feels right, or maybe holding on to the inside of the left thigh. Taking that twist. We inhale, create space. Exhale, open through that right shoulder. Two more breaths. Squeezing, engaging those thighs. Try and keep your hips square. Nice. And releasing that hand, coming into your funky transition. So the right hand plants down. We pivot that left foot 45 degrees to allow us to move here. And start to draw your right knee in towards your chest. Exhale, extend that right leg. Be creative, be expressive. Take your variation. Maybe lower the sit bones down towards the heel. Maybe take a seat completely up to you. And then with control, take it all the way back. Plant that right leg behind you. Plant the left hand down. So we're back into this like hip opening lunge position. So finding your space here, what feels right for you. Taking a block if you need it. Breathing. And working into this space so from here start to bend into this right leg we open up through that left leg so flexing the foot if you can no worries if not taking it where it feels right for you 
Then we inhale, bend through that left leg, open through that left hip. Nice, take two more. And just move through it with your breath. So it's like we're gearing up for something here. <laughs> nice. And then holding in that lunge position, pivot that back foot 45 degrees. Take the left hand towards the left foot. The right arm reaches all the way up and over your back into your Virabhadrasana 2, Warrior 2. Nice. Coming back to your breath here. <sighs> Settling in, taking any little movements, any adjustments that you need. The left arm, the left palm flips, the right arm travels all the way back, reverse warrior. Inhale, feel the stretch through the side body. Exhale, left forearm, left side, reach up and out. Extended side angle, push down through the outside of that right foot. Allow you to open here. Nice. And then take the hands all the way around. Frame that left foot. Pivot through onto the ball of the back foot. No lunge. And then we walk the hands, pivot the feet, moving with the hands till we get into that low lunge with the right foot forward. The left hand comes down, the right arm sweeps up, easy twist. Lower the back knee if you need to. And then plant that right hand down, step that right foot back, come to your downward facing dog, amazing, shake it out. We go through our modified vinyasa and then we take a nice child's pose. <laughs> so lower the knee, take the sit bones back to heels. Inhale, round forward off top of the toes. Lower the hips, bend the elbows, peel that chest open, feel the fluidity. Push back, tuck under toes, lift back, downward facing dog. Shaking anything out that you need to here. And then lower the knees, lower the sit bones, come to your balasana child's pose. Amazing, amazing. Taking anything that you need here. Maybe you can feel a little bit more space in the body. Maybe you're dancing around to a little playlist you've put on, feeling free. Not connecting to things that maybe you think don't look 100% right, it does not matter. Feeling into how good your body might feel right now. Okay, so we have the option of doing the flow again. So if you're kind of at the point where you feel a little bit tired, um, then honestly feel free to just take the child's pose. You can always do this again, maybe build up um, to that level, to um, that repetition. Otherwise, if you're gonna take the repetition with me, we'll be moving through it a little bit more fluidly. So there'll be less direction for me and we're doing the exact same sequence. We're adding on one additional pose when we get to extended side angle as an option. So take it if you like, there's literally, there's no worries either way. So take in your options wherever you are, maybe taking this well-earned rest or maybe coming to move through each side one more time. When you're ready, inhaling. Exhale, release it out. <sighs> nice. Round down through the hands, tuck under the toes. Lift up, downward facing dog. So same, same now. It's moving a little bit more fluidly. We inhale the right leg up. Exhale, bend the knee, split hip dog. Inhale, back to centre. Exhale. Take it into your lizard lunge. Inhale, the right arm reaches forward. Exhale, we open the chest. Inhale, the right arm comes all the way round. Pivot that foot, skandhasana, any variation. Power through that leg into your goddess pose. Take a little bit of free movement here. Use this time. 
And then lowering down, take left forearm, left thigh. We start our sweeps, inhale. Exhale, make it expressive as you want. One more either side. And lifting all the way up, straighten through the feet. The right arm reaches, maybe the left arm takes the bind. Unraveling here, the left arm comes down. Pivot the feet to face the right. As we bend the left leg, take it up to the sky, whatever you want to do. Power down through that left hand, step back into your bent back leg, open through the hamstrings. We take three of these. Inhale, bend. Exhale, flex. Nice. Final one, pivot the back foot. We move into our warrior two, nice. Inhale, flip the palm, reverse the warrior. Exhale, side angle. Staying here, we're taking the right arm underneath the left, the left arm reaches all the way around. Maybe coming into that bind, taking the strap if you need to or holding onto your t-shirt. This might be enough for you here. If you want to, and you want to take it, you got it in your practice, taking your birds of paradise. So stepping that back foot forward, taking the gaze low, rise up to the tip toes, lifting up. This might be enough. And we're extending birds of paradise. Only an option, working into your flow, your energy. If you've taken your birds of paradise, I want you to come back down with that same control. Everything is smooth today. If not, don't worry, embrace, embrace the wobbles. <laughs> nice, we all meet back, extended side angle. Sweep it now all the way around, pivot the toes so they face the back of the room. Plant the right hand down, the left arm reaches up. Easy twist. Plan the hands, frame the front foot, step back, downward facing dog, come through modified vinyasa. Lower the knees, push back. Inhale, round you forward. Cobra pose. Exhale to kunda. Downward facing dog, we move straight through onto the other side and then everything starts to calm down a little bit. Inhale, lift that left leg high. Exhale, split hip drop. Inhale, back to centre. Exhale, take the left foot on the outside of the left hand, lizard lunge. Ground down through the right, we inhale with the left. Exhale, open. Taking it into Skandasana, the left arm reaches through. The left foot pivots 45, we open out. Your variation. Power down through those feet. Use the hands if you need. Come into your goddess pose. Take that free movement. You can do anything that you like. Release that tension. Nice. Come back to goddess. Taking the sweep. So release it down. Right forearm. Left hand reaches up. Nice. Other side. One more on each side. Can be whatever you want it to be. <laughs> Come back to standing, pivot the toes, left hand reaches down, maybe take that bind. And cross that right hand over, release the left, pivot the toes, send that right foot up, any variation. Exhale, push back into the bent leg at the back or on your tiptoes. Take that nice stretch through the left foot, left hamstrings. And we move through three flows. Again, being as animalistic as you can. Staying in your lunge, pivot back foot. We sweep it all the way up. Warrior two. You're nearly done, you're doing amazing. 
Inhale, flip the front palm, reverse. Inhale, exhale, side angle. Stay in here or adding on. So if you want to, take in the bind. The left arm threads under the left. The right arm reaches all the way around. Taking that bind, taking the strap, the t-shirt. Again, this might be enough for you. This is a challenging pose. I am feeling the warmth. <laughs> If you want to, add in a little bit of play with your birds of paradise. So same, same, other side. Maybe this is enough. Keeping that chest lifted as you do this. Breathing. Connecting to your breath. And if you're in your birds of paradise, coming down with that same control. Wherever you are, we all meet back. Extended side angle. Sweep it all the way around. Pivot the toes, place the left hand down. The right arm reaches up to the sky, easy twist. Plant the hands down, push through. Take it to your downward facing dog, final vinyasa. Lower the knees, push the sit bones back. Inhale it forward, lower the chest. Over variation. Exhale, tuck under toes, lift up, downward facing dog, amazing, shake it out, do whatever you need to. Lower down to any variation of child's pose that you wish. Nice. Amazing, amazing effort, everybody. That built a bit of heat. <laughs> nice. Maybe check in in with your body. Maybe noticing those areas of tension that we noticed at the start and see how we're feeling right now. Maybe you want to take a deep sigh, so we take an inhale. Exhale, release it off, soften. Ah. Maybe we take another one, that felt nice, inhale. Exhale, ha! Ah. Really lovely. And then breathe in here. Softening a little bit. Calming down all that fire, that heat that we built alongside that water, that fluidity, and just start to come back to a little bit more stillness. Gently walking the fingertips all the way back to the knees. Amazing effort, everybody. Okay, so coming into one final little bit of movement, just because we've worked our body up so much for this today, we may as well have a little play with it. So take your strap nearby. First of all, we're going to take Upavista Konasana, so wide legged forward fold. So taking the legs to either side of the mat, flexing through the feet. Feel that the thighs are externally rotating back. Really finding that connection. Drawing the belly through into the back. And maybe we can start to lower down. Breathe in here. Allowing the upper body to be soft. That lower body is still quite active. It's holding your foundation here. Maybe extending or moving a little bit more into the space if you can. Deep belly breath. And then walking the hands all the way back to centre. Nice. So because we've worked into it, again, this is just a completely optional um, little bit of fun that we want to take. So completely up to you. Um, if you want to or if you already know it, feel free to take compass pose. Otherwise, we will have a little bit of a play with it. So starting with the right leg. Drawing that left foot towards the centre and shifting any little bits of space under the sit bones and start to take your right foot in front of you. 
So taking the hands, draw the knee up, the leg up, and then take hold of the outside of the left foot with the left hand and take hold of the knee with the right. And we just gently start to sway it so we kind of draw it back a little just to create a little bit of space in the hips. Keeping the chest lifted here. If you want to get a bit deeper, you can take that right foot towards the left crease of the elbow and take the knee in towards the right crease of the elbow, interlace the hands. And this should feel like a really deep stretch through those outer hips, nice. So lifting up through the belly here. Gentle rock from side to side like a little baby. Okay, then coming on to the fun part. So if this feels like really juicy for you, um, or is any pain, then please feel free that you don't need to take it or you don't need to advance. We'll do it step by step. Um, again, wherever you start to feel a little bit of uncomfort, you're breathing quite a lot into it. It's kind of the place that we want to stay. Um, and again, just feeling what feels like for your body. So. Take a strap nearby and you can use the strap. I'm going to show you without the strap, but you can do the same thing with the strap. So taking the right foot in towards the right hand, using the left hand, we're going to try and take our right foot over that right arm, the right tricep. So it wants to be sitting above the right elbow. So getting it into that place, like you're putting on a little backpack. <laughs> Okay, so this is foundation again. This isn't enough sometimes, this is a deep stretch. If you want to add on, taking your strap in your left hand, we can hold it here. If you want to, taking hold of the outer side of the right foot, we plant that right hand down to create the space. And then it's the same thing as we've been doing in our practice. So we open, we lift through the upper body. So this might be enough with the bend in the leg also with the strap if you need to. Then if you can push the foot into the hand, hand into the foot, we walk in that right hand down, lift open through the chest. So grounding through the body, really deep stretch through that side body. And then coming out of it, bend into the knee, draw the head underneath the arm, look down, and then place it down. So if you're a bit unsure with the strap, then same thing, you can take it round the foot and then we take it here and then start to build into it from there. So that might be enough. Okay, then we take the legs out, give them a little shake, it's going to be quite intense. <laughs> and then we'll go ahead and take it on the other side. So taking the right foot now in towards the centre of the body drawing that left foot in and then again taking the same thing so rocking the baby from side to side maybe you can add on putting it into each of the elbow crease again keep the chest lifted here so this can just be a really quite deep stretch to do in itself and this might be fine for what you need today Again, coming into this, so you can take this a bit longer if you need to, just going to talk you through it. So using that left hand to take that left leg over, so again it's like you're taking that backpack. <laughs> taking the right hand on the outside of the left foot or using the strap, maybe starting with the strap. Plant that left hand down, we start to extend, again this might be enough. If you can, hand into the foot, foot into the hand maybe walk in that left hand so we can plant the sit bones and breathe in and then when you're ready to come out bend that leg look down and then place it down amazing shake it off shake it all off absolutely amazing okay Everything is coming back to stillness now, <laughs> don't you worry. <laughs> so from here, taking the legs out long, taking a little bend in the knees, coming into modified Paschimottanasana. Start to inhale, lift and lengthen through the chest, take the arms underneath the thighs. 
and we exhale this time we can roll the spine so we can allow the spine to be quite heavy here in this more restorative pose allowing everything to melt down here feeling the release of the spine breathing away that tension Feeling that nice resetting, that nice breath, breathing into the back body this time. Bring some more awareness there when it knows you. And then rolling all the way back up as slowly as you need to. Sifting the sit bones forward and coming all the way down onto our backs, yes. Finally, <laughs> from here, just take a little bridge uh, just to stretch out the front body. So taking the feet hips distance, plugging down through the soles of the feet, squeeze through the thighs, hands facing down and we lift up and out of the hips. So this does not need to be your deepest bridge pose. We're just really trying to reset the spine, reset the body from all that twisting action. Uh, staying here longer if you want to, taking it deeper if you want to, completely up to you. We're rolling the spine all the way down. Drawing right knee into chest, the left leg reaches out long. And then start to round the forehead towards the right knee. Feeling that nice sensation through the back. Release it down. The left hand comes over the right thigh and we take a nice twist over towards the left. Again, don't worry if that knee doesn't touch the floor. Again, we're just trying to reset the body. Create that nice twisting sensation. This should feel really nice here. Really nourishing. Maybe closing down the eyes here. And really starting to bring that groundness, that earth kind of element back into your practice. Moving away from that water, that fluidity. And softening feeling heavy. Take it all the way back to centre, draw the knee in and extend it out long. The left knee draws in towards the chest. Round the spine, forehead to knee if you can. Feel that nice, real lengthening through the spine. And release it down, right hand comes over left thigh. Left arm reaches out long, we take the twist. Again, maybe you just close down the eyes here. Softening through that left shoulder. Breathing into that back body. And then we're moving towards stillness. Towards complete ease and surrender. Pull it all the way back to centre, pull both knees in towards the chest and take any final little movements that you feel that your body needs, so maybe some rolls, some circles, maybe a happy baby if that's what you're feeling today, anything you want to. And then, or if you're like me and you're ready for your shavasana, Take the legs out long to either corner of the mat. Take the hands to the hips, lift the hips, draw the tailbone down. Take the hands behind the neck, draw the chin in towards the chest. Lengthen the spine and then soften it down. And then taking the hands to wherever feels quite nice for you. So beside you, palms facing up. Maybe you want to take hands to the belly. And take a deep inhale. 
exhale, side all out. wave of relaxation, moving its way all the way from the tips of your toes towards the crown of the head. Breathing in that controlled Ujjayi breath and just come back to that really gentle, soft, fluid motion, allow the body to be really heavy here, feel like it's melting into the mat, Welcome to stay in your Shavasana for as long as you need. I would definitely recommend it as we've worked so hard today. So feel free to pause or to stay in the Shavasana. If you're ready to move out of it, begin some movement into the fingertips, into the toes. Turn the head from side to side, reawakening the body. Maybe taking the legs out long, reaching the fingertips up and overhead. Inhale, nice full body stretch like you're waking up for the first time again today. And then exhale, release it off, side out. Take your knees in towards your chest. Give yourself one final well-deserved hug. Any final little movement. And then however you wish to get there, start to make your way back up to a comfortable seated position at the top of your mat. Taking your hands together in Anjali Mudra prayer and resting your thumbs at your heart centre. Take a deep inhale through the nose. We exhale, sigh it all out. Starting to bow your forehead towards your fingertips in honour of yourself, in honour of the practice of yoga and being really kind to yourself for allowing your body to just completely go with this free movement, this expression, being open-minded, playful, creative, maybe knowing that You've got that within, inside you and you can tap into it whenever you need. Start to take your thumbs to your third eye centre, the space in between your eyebrows. And we'll all bow down to say namaste. Namaste. Amazing. Thank you so much for practising and sticking with the practice today. Um, quite different to maybe what you usually do um, in a vinyasa class or any kind of yoga class you do. Um, so maybe you also want to repeat the flow and then next time you'll know exactly where you're going and each time you can maybe move a bit more mindfully. So yeah, hope you enjoyed and have a nice rest of your day or evening. Namaste. Bye-bye.